spread out in the Quite a few turnovers. Every game. Grind it out in kind of game. Does it show the growth of this team when you're in Absolutely. I think we grow every single game from all the games last year, or after you lost last year, and then the wins and losses this year. Coach tries to, well, he does talk a lot about you can win from, you can learn from wins, and you can learn from losses. You just got to be able to take everything in and analyze the game the right way. And on. So I think we've done a really good job of that, being able to adjust to things, understand different things that maybe a couple years ago we didn't understand. Mason, I see a Wolfpack bracelet in your locker. Have you been exchanging friendship bracelets with the other teams here? <laughs> no, it's my girlfriend's cousin fighting with cancer. So. I see. Okay. Uh, just, uh, how'd you overcome the 16 turnovers? Um, we were just able to hang in there. You know, we kept talking to each other, telling each other we trust each other. We've been doing this all year. You know, there's some games that we have high turnovers and we've lost. There's some games we've had high turnovers and we were able to fight through. And today was one of those days. We just, the best thing is to do is to limit our turnovers. You know, but that's not, not always the case. Things happen. People want to pressure us. We just have to be able to understand what's going on and play through that. You feel like you locked down defensively a little bit more in the second half? Say it again. You feel like you locked in defensively? a little bit more in the second half? Yes, I think so. Uh, I think we were just a little bit more on top. You could say nerves, you could say excitement, uh, beginning of the game, whatever it was, I think we were definitely a little bit more locked in the second half. We talked about it, talked about some things. Um, and, you know, the rest is history. Mason, just the, the team, every time they got within arm's length, you guys hit a big shot, get a big defensive stop. It seemed like when you had to have a play, somebody stepped up and made it. Did it yeah. kind of feel like that the whole night? Uh, yeah. You know, I think that everybody's doing a really good job of stepping up whenever they need to. We keep preaching and do your job. And whether that's Cam's job to come in, run the floor, rebound, and get a couple stops, or Fletcher hit a couple shots, myself hit a couple shots and rebound, we always have to be ready, no matter what it is. Did you get a sense it was going to be this type of game early? I mean, you get on a, a, a hot start, and then they, they were going to make it kind of like a, hey, you're going to have to score 60 points to win this game. Yeah, we knew that they were going to play hard. We knew how they were going to want to play. And our biggest thing was just staying to our game, not letting them get us off of our catches, not letting them get us off of our flow and how we want to play. Just being able to stay within our system was our biggest thing. And I think we did a pretty good job. There was times we got away from it, but I think we did a pretty good job and won the game. Just the way Braden battled tonight. Without, I mean, he makes one field goal, mm -hmm. which was a big one, mm -hmm. but just the way he battled through everything. Right? I'm proud of him. You know, it's not easy getting hounded the entire game. All the weight is on your shoulders to take care of the ball, you know, and he does a fantastic job. I really respect his role, I really respect him as a person, a player, and, you know, the sky's the limit for him. This isn't his ceiling. The national championship isn't his ceiling. Uh, but, you know, he's carried us here. Him and Zach, they've carried us, and I wouldn't doubt that they're going to be ready for Monday. You know, I know he's over there thinking about this game right now. He's going to go back, watch film, and be even better Monday. That's just who he is. He's gotten better the two years that I've been with them, and I couldn't see him stopping now. Defensively, you guys were really successful, particularly DJ Burns. Why do you think you guys as a group were so good at defensively? We were focused on it. The concentration was there. You know, whenever I think we put enough effort and concentration into one thing as a team, as a collective, you know, we really knock it out the park. Whether that's guarding ball screens, guarding their uh, ball screen in motion, whatever it is, you know, whenever we really concentrate, listen to the game plan, and everybody stays on the same page, you know, it's hard to play against. Uh, it doesn't seem very celebratory right now. You guys are kind of business as usual. Mm -hmm. We've got a national championship to win. You know, that's not done. We've been talking for two years. We won a national championship, and everybody understands that getting to the Final Four is special, no doubt about that. I don't ever want to take anything away from that and what we've done to get here, but the job's not finished. Simple as that. We got one more game done. Is that marketing forehead from today? Yeah, it is. Uh, got one on your arm too. Just the physicality and uh, of the game today. What, what was it like from the inside? Uh, I mean, it's nothing we haven't played before. We play in the best and toughest conference in the league in the world, so we're used to it. You know, we always get in the cold tub and burn because of the scratches, but. It is what it is. You know, we're physical. We embrace it. We love playing that way. And I don't think anybody is going to push us off. Speaking of that, what went into having a 41 to 28 rebounding advantage in this game? Just playing hard. As simple as that. You know, I think that there is some science, some insight that you have to have as a rebounder. 
but ultimately it's just out, uh, out competing the person in front of you. Where did the scar come from? The scar? Uh, no, I did. Somebody was pretty What would you say, Mason? When was the last time you all were talking about last year? When this part of the season? When did you all really put that behind you? What you say? Well, put what behind us? Last season. Um, season. I don't think it's ever been like put behind us. You know, we've always had open conversations about it. We talked about how we felt losing. We talked about how we were going to grow from it, and then we acted on it. We didn't just talk about it. We walked the walk, and I think that we're showing our improvement this year in the tournament. Obviously, last year we lost first game, and now we're in the national championship. How does that feel? I mean, to go from that moment, one of the toughest moments you know, for everybody, to mm -hmm. on the cusp of winning a national championship? I don't want to say that we wouldn't be in this situation if we didn't lose to them, but it's definitely fueled us. You know, sitting in that loss, seeing it on social media 24-7, seeing it on the TV, even throughout this year, everybody wants to say, yeah, they done this, but they lost FU last year. Yeah, they did this, but they lost FU last year. And so we're just proving everybody wrong, proving ourselves right, having each other's back, and we'll get the job done. What's it like having a guy like Edie, 